Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the drawing tools in Abyss Paint X. The drawing tools are extra things you can use to help you draw better or to cut corners and make things easier. You're going to want to go up here to these options and click the hand one right here. Here are a bunch of different things. There is the stabilizer, which I have done a video on before. That helps you draw much better and make the lines clearer. When it's off, you'll notice the lines can be kind of wobbly. Like here, it falters a bit. And if you turn it up, then it just makes the lines a whole bunch clearer and there's less faltering. The next one is the false fade, but because of the type of stylus I have, it will not really show up. This essentially helps your tool fade at the end if you don't have it already on that setting. The shape of fade can be adjusted with these two settings. Here is the method of how you're going to use your stabilizer. Real time makes it happen as you are drawing like this and after will show you the difference from before and after so you will do your drawing without the stabilizer and then once you let go it stabilizes next are the smaller drawing tools this one is the line tool it is very fairly self-explanatory you drag from one point to another and it will make a line there the rectangle is almost the same. Same with the circle, the ellipse, and the regular polygon. So with the shapes, you have a fill option here, which just fills the shape in for you. So let's say our fill color, we want to be black. Then if we do our shape, it will fill it in for us. Onto the ellipse. This is essentially a circle, but you can adjust it however you want. The regular polygon is as it says a polygon, but you can adjust the amount of sides that you want. So one with just three sides, be a triangle, and then we can up the sides however we want, which I think is really cool. Then we have the curve. And you can do your first line like this, and then you can do your second line like this, and you can use this point to adjust the curve. And you can extend the different points too. I think this is really neat. Once you're done with it, you can either press the tick or press the trash can. The last tool is the polyline which is similar to the line curve, but you don't actually get to curve the lines and it makes this really neat effect. It's almost like folding paper. That was how you use all the drawing tools in Abyss Paint X. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider supporting my channel by leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.